So tip number three was basically for you to find spaces that you like being in, to study whatever it is that you're studying, right? To find your happy space, to find a place where you're comfortable to learn new information, right? Because that helps you to be able to absorb new information, to learn better, right? That was tip number three. As far as tip number four is concerned, it's sort of twofold, but the two things are, are connected. They're sort of dependent on each other. The first one is for you to create a schedule. And the second one is for you to put together a to-do list. Now the to-do list is sort of subject-based. It's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's items that you have to get done, right? The schedule is how you're going to get it done, right? So it's sort of time-based, okay? And one thing you have to appreciate when you're learning something new, when you're studying, is that learning something new is not necessarily easy, right? It's gonna require time for you to do. So if you have a full life right now, if you have, if, if you have a full plate, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to put a fair bit of time into learning something new. So what you need to do is take a look at your schedule, maybe your weekly schedule, your daily schedule, your monthly schedule, whatever, whatever it is, right? Is really dependent on you and how, how, how your lifestyle is, right? So what you might need to do is take a look at your daily schedule and your weekly schedule and see if you have time to learn whatever it is that you need to learn or you want to learn right and if you're lucky enough to be in school to be a full-time student where your 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 living is taken care of right you don't have to worry about food you don't have to worry about putting a roof over your head then your schedule is easy to create it's easy to put together because your schedule should be steady right because you don't really don't have anything else to do other than you know a little bit of socializing and a little bit of entertainment or relaxing or exercise to keep you sane right to keep you uh, healthy enough to be able to focus on whatever it is you're studying so your schedule should be fairly easy to put together if you need to work if you have family to take care of if you have other things on your plate then studying then what you need to do is really sit down and take a look at your daily activities take a look at your weekly activities and create room Right, because whatever it is you're studying, whatever it is that you need to learn to be able to progress in your life is going to require time and most likely is, is going to require you to sacrifice certain things that you may love doing, that you may want to do for you to create enough space to learn whatever it is that you're learning. Okay, so the first part of this fourth advice is for you to create a schedule and really sit down and think about the schedule and stick to the schedule once you put it together and the schedule is going to be really dependent on what's on your to-do list okay as far as the to-do list is concerned um, it really depends you know what where you are what phase you are in your life right and I've had my to-do list has varied a lot depending on what phase I've been in my life right if I was a full-time student my to-do list was basically study a lot of different subjects right if I was going uh, if I was working and taking courses at the same time then you know there was a lot of work stuff involved in my to-do list as well as some study stuff it was if I was just doing work then it was mainly work and taking care of everyday stuff right so the to-do list is really going to be specific based on you and you can think about it as a shopping list if you want right because if you're going shopping if you're if if you're you know you're not being taken care of right if someone else is not doing the shopping for you cooking for you buying the food for you providing shelter for you you're going to have a to-do list in your life right you're going to have things that you need to get done paying rent right getting laundry uh doing your laundry getting your food right um, everyday activity that you need to do right so you know how to do this works and if you need to study at the same time as you're managing your life then your to-do list what happens it becomes bigger now what you need to do for that is to be able to incorporate multiple things in the same same task 
right? One of the things I used to do and one of the things I continue to do that helps me out a lot in, in um, breaking down my to-do list and grouping things together is by creating two categories. One of them is my needs category and the other one is my wants category right and the needs of stuff that you really need to get done they may be daily activities right you need you may need to go to a store and get some supplies you need to cook some food and eat right you need to go do some exercise have some entertainment so you can stay sane and healthy right your wants list could be stuff like a movie touching base with friends going out for dinner right it could be it could be a whole bunch of things really specific uh, for you right for me what I used to do when I've when I've created my to-do list and my broken broken what needs to get done what I want to get done what I try to do is group things together and if I can bring something from my wants section to my needs section put them together and get them both done at the same time then fantastic right I've killed two birds with one stone right there's been times in my life where you know I was tired of reading right you there's points in your life where if you're reading a lot of material you know your eyes become blurry and you can't you can't retain any more information by reading so what I do I switch it up into watching a lecture or watching a documentary or watching a movie if it's based on uh, some kind of play that I was supposed to learn if it was studying Shakespeare or whatnot right if I was reading a book, uh, if I was reading a textbook, taking notes on a textbook, uh, you know, I would go to the beach instead of sitting on my desk, right? And that's sort of connected with tip number three that we had, right? Where the best way to study is to find spaces that where you're comfortable, where you're happy being, right? So for me, you know, my want, wanting to go to the beach or wanting to go to the park and having to read a certain chapter in a textbook I would take my textbook to the park, to the beach, and I would read the stuff there, right? Like one of the things that I need and wanted to get done uh, was to, to, to get some exercise, right? To go to the gym, to go for a long walk, right? And one of the things I used to do is go to the gym, and I still do, go to the gym or go for a long walk, and instead of listening to music, I would listen to a lecture. Right? I would listen to a talk. I would listen to information on a certain subject that I really wanted to study or I, that I needed to learn. Right? So that's, that's one way you can incorporate multiple tasks, two tasks into one thing. Right? Getting your exercise and learning something new. Right? Learning a certain, certain topic, certain subject that you might be studying in school. Okay, and that's really dependent on you. It's something you're gonna have to sit down and think about. Okay, so. Advice number four is sort of long-winded, but advice number four is to put together a schedule for yourself and to create a to-do list, right? Make sure you know what it is that you need to get done and make sure you have enough time to get it done, okay? As far as um, tip number five is concerned, well, I have notes here that could take us to many different places, but the odds are, um, the next bit of advice I'm going to give you, the next thing we're gonna work on um, is I'm gonna show you how to read a textbook, specifically um, academic books, right? Science, physics, chemistry, biology books, because that's where I've mainly focused uh, my studying that I've done in my life, right? And that's one thing we're gonna we're gonna take a look at. And we're also gonna take a look at something that's gonna be very math specific. And that is basically being very clean and neat with your notes when you're solving equations and there's a beautiful pattern, right? That that follows when you're solving an equation to be neat with your work. Okay.